Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back at Major Thrift. Decided to come back today and see um, what I may be able to find today. Um, Monday through Thursday they do have like sales on certain color tags. Let's see if that's going to be the case today. That's what I saw the last time. So I'll see what type of um, colors are on sale today. Let's see. So I don't see, let me see if I can find out. Let me ask somebody. So the green and blue tags are 50% off today and the orange tags are 75% off. So I'll be looking around to see what I can find in the orange and blue and the green, um, but I would prefer the orange. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be taking a look around to see what I can find in those colors and I will share it with you as I find something. So here's a it's a black house white market white house black market sweater $5.99 and 75% off. This is orange. So if you're familiar with that brand then you know that it can be pretty pricey but oh yeah. 75% off of $6 for this. This old navy sweater. It's brand new. 75% off. I'm trying to see if I can do anything with it.
didn't do much talking inside of the store. Quite a few people, and I just didn't feel comfortable with holding up the camera and talking with them. But I just left out, so I do have a bag. And I, I honestly just kind of got tired of looking around, so I decided to end my trip, <laughs> end my shopping in there. So um, I got a few items. I got a few things for my daughter and um, a few things for me as well. And my objective for today's shopping trip is the same as it was the first time I came in. So if you didn't see um, the short that I posted, I just so happened to pop into this store a few days ago just um because i've I've passed by this area several times and i've never been inside of the store inside of the store so i was like well let me just stop in there and see and um i didn't have much time to to go in and look so i was in there for a few minutes i found a few things so if you go back and look at that short you can see the um the items that i purchased and how much i spent um so today i picked up a few more things and so like i said um they had three colors on sale the blue and the green, I believe, was 50% off. And the orange was 75% off. And so I was like, let me just go ahead and see if I can find anything that I like with just the orange tag. So I found a few things with orange tags. Uh, I'll go ahead and kind of show you some of the stuff that I found. So this, um, I think I probably, I showed it in the store as well. But this, um, let's see, this old, this is like a sweater cardigan kind of like a sweater open sweater uh from old navy and it's still has the original tag on it and so it was $7.99 and it was 75% off of that what else oh I got my daughter this sweater and it was I think this is well, who is this oh, okay yeah so it's $4.99 but it was 75% off of that one also I got me a just a, like a little active wear sweatshirt, something to pop on with some some something sweatpants or some leggings or something. And this was it's by Avia. It was seventy five percent off, three ninety nine. I got this other top. This is by a brand I haven't heard of before. Court and row, and I just thought that'll probably be something nice with either some jeans or some some pants. And this was four ninety nine, seventy five percent off. And this actually still has brand new tags on this as well. And like I showed you inside of the store, the original or oh, the MSRP or the retail price for this was sixty nine dollars, and I got it for seventy five percent off of. $4.99. Picked up another top for me. Um, and this is kind of, I think it's going to be a little bit, it might not be too big, but it might be a little bit larger, but, but not much. So yeah, it'd be something comfortable to, you know, do what I have to do. And so this was $3.99, 75% off. I did pick up another pair of jeans. Oh, well, let's see, that's why you have to be careful, but my husband can fix this. I mean, I probably fix too, but he can fix it because he's he's the, the tailor. <laughs> so, yeah, um, these were $5.99, 75% off. And I got my daughter a little knit sweater type top. $3.99, 75% off of that. And that was all. So I have one. Oh, sorry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And two of the items, might I add, were still new with the original tags on it. So now here we go for a grand total again today. Seven items, which included a pair of jeans and like some brand new items. So some tops and sweaters, seven items. So before tax, the total was $34.93. Everything that I purchased was 75% off today for a grand total of $9.45. So yeah, I 
enjoy shopping like this. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, some people may have their um, gripes about secondhand shopping, but I figure, especially with kids. I mean, my my our children do they get brand new clothes, but then I will if I find some things in the thrift store, I will purchase them from the thrift store as well because children are growing, and um, I'm just not into paying a, a lot of money for kids clothes even with them being brand new i'm not yeah i don't that doesn't excite me and so i can buy the majority of my clothes from the thrift store because i I just enjoy shopping like that and i enjoy finding things that have brand new tags on them sorry if you can my stomach is is growling so that's probably part of the reason why also that i decided to go ahead and leave out of there but um yeah like i was saying I don't have a problem with, with shopping secondhand, you know. Um, and some of it is about, I guess a good deal of it for me is about saving money. But then, I don't know. I guess I see too, like I said before, it's like you pay the most for it and then it ends up where. So, yeah, that's just my personal um, opinion or outlook on it. I don't have a problem with it. I haven't had any issues with shopping secondhand. I haven't ever purchased anything from the thrift store that's caused me to break out or whatever. So yeah, I mean, I don't wear anything right out of the store. You know, I, everything is, is washed. But um, that's the way I enjoy shopping. And so when I can go purchase a few items and some of them being brand new for $9, that's right on my alley. So if y'all like to purchase to shop this way and <laughs> and if you're in the Kansas City area, major three of some of y'all, I mean, I'm I'm tired to the party, I guess. This is my first time. Um it well, second time now coming into uh to a major thrift store. I'm not sure. I know like here in, in um Missouri or even in, in Kansas, I think there are a few locations. So it's, I'm sure it's not a store that's just all around the US or anything like that because um they didn't have any major thrifts the last state that we lived in either but if you are in the kansas city area then you probably already know about major thrift but if you don't then um you know stop by if you enjoy thrifting so there there are um, prices to me i have been going to the salvation army and you can find some you know pretty good deals there but yeah major thrift has so far everyone beat out of all of the thrift stores I've been to. So yes, I found a new thrift store that I enjoy coming to. I mean, with, with any thrift store, you have to be patient and, you know, you have to, you're going to look through some, some things to kind of find what you're looking for or whatever. But I think, you know, if it, if it's not this particular location, but just any different thrift store, it's like, if you want to put a look together, you can go to those places and find exactly what you're looking for and get it accomplished for a fraction of the cost. So, all right, enough of me rambling on about that because I can talk about that for a while. Um, But if you enjoy thrifting or if you have any tips or any recommendations for me, drop them in the comments section. I would enjoy chatting about uh, this topic with you all. And also, if you enjoyed kind of browsing around from the, with the footage that I was able to capture, um, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would so appreciate it if you would go ahead and do so. I am going to actively be trying to... Um, well, I, it's, honestly, I've been posting content on YouTube since I started posting on YouTube, which is coming up on two years. And, and my goal at this point, I mean, I see where I probably could have done some things differently. Like I said, as some of y'all may know that we were in Africa for about 10 months. And then after we left Africa, we came back to the U S and I started, you know, um, continue to post videos from, uh, you know, being back here. And I figured it would be a difference. I'm sorry. I mean, I know you probably just want, didn't want to keep looking at the major thrift <laughs> sign. So I'll let you see something else then. But, um, I'm sure, um, like I said, some, some of you all who have been watching my videos since I started, to, um, you know, started posting initially on, on YouTube, you saw that like we started off in Africa and we came back to the United States and things have just been slow for me since coming back to the United States. And I can kind of see some of the, some of the, um, the areas where I messed up in and started, I maybe should have been utilizing more tools on YouTube that I wasn't doing. 
before, but with that being said, I have a goal. I'm trying to go ahead and get these thousand subscribers and they, it's harder than what people may think. I mean, for some people, for, you know, some creators, it takes a little bit more time and I've been trying to be patient with the process, but it's like, okay, I know I'm able to, you know, post videos or whatever I'm in posting shorts or whatever I post on a community tab. And so I'm trying to do my part and I'm just asking that you would help me out and help me along this journey of um, accomplishing these goals on um, YouTube. So if you have been watching the videos and you enjoy, you know, what I've been putting out so far, um, I'm sure, you know, there's always room for imp improvement. <laughs> I, I'm not, you know, the best, um, videographer or editor or whatever, or even, you know, the most eloquent person when it comes to speaking, but I am um, trying to get better. And that's all I can do. Just, you know, just look back over the things that I've done and just try to improve. And so that is my goal. But like I said, I would um, appreciate if you all would help me out with that as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel as of yet, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and do so. But as always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for clicking on another video. And until the next video, I will see you later. Bye-bye.